I heard you say you did. I heard you, you heard. Say you must I be hearing you voices. It. I heard you say it. I heard you must you be it. hearing voices. <laughs> nope. Are nope. you crazy? You've made me crazy. Oh, so it's my fault. It's your fault. Don't you ever take responsibility for anything? Sure, I'm taking responsibility by leaving you. Please, do me a favor and leave as soon as possible. All right? No problem. You bug the hell out of me. Why would I want to be around someone I don't trust? I don't know. That's your problem to figure out, not mine. You're the one that can't admit you're... You're, you're the one that's lying. How can you live with yourself? Did you ever think about working for the Nazis or something? Very funny. Very charming you are. The way you cross-examine me? I could be a lawyer. Good night. Okay, now. That was bad. Why? <laughs> because you didn't even get the truth out of you. Gotta use more tactics. Every good scene Jesus. has tactics to reward as well as punish. Well, why did he tell her so quickly? I don't know. That, well, that's why we're in problem exploring the scene. Hear what I just said. Every good scene has tactics to reward as well as punish. This scene, the tactics to reward are not clearly written into the scene. Do you understand what I mean by reward? Mm -mm. You can no get problem. more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Right. You follow what I'm saying? There are moments where you could be loving towards him. Oh, I was being really bitchy, wasn't Well, you were playing that tactic. Welcome to uh, In the Spotlight. Today we have a couple guests, actresses, here in Tinseltown, where stars are made every day. <laughs> we're, we have a couple interesting stories today, and we hope you're going to enjoy this show. My name is M.Z. Silver, and I'm the host, and our guests today are uh, Lauren uh, Catois. Katua. Katua. Like I Katua. Always, I always God bless you. <laughs> Lauren Katua. Tua. Katua. And Gloria Gadar. Hello. Did I pronounce that right? Yes, Gadar. Okay. Correct. And uh, right now, we're going to go with uh, Lauren. Now, Lauren. Yes. When did you decide you wanted to be an actress? Well. And why? Well, why? Because it's a calling and you just feel it in every bone and cell in your body. There's nothing else you can do with your life, otherwise you'll be miserable. And um, it all started when I thought I wanted to be a, you know, broadcast journalist. So I got my degree in broadcast journalism from San Jose State University. Oh, okay. And I decided rather than being Barbara Walters, I would rather, you know, walk down the red carpet and... Uh, well, you've been compared to Lucille Ball, right? Who, who yeah. compared you to reviews? Well, um, actually in high school when I would... Um, you know, I was on the cheerleading team, and whenever we do our cheers, I'd make everybody laugh because I had these little prat balls. And one of the other cheerleaders would always go, "You're Lucille Ball." Ba 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 ba. You know, and so I got this little joke. Then it kind of like rubbed off and and went into my acting class. My first acting teacher at Joanne Barron, D. W. Brown, told me what I have was like gold. That I have a liking to Lucille Ball, and I should go with that. So I. I can't get better than that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. You have some of the fame that she had. And there's no more Lucille Ball, so we need Yeah, another. she's definitely one of my favorites. We need another she's one awesome. now. She she's is. Awesome. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what have you what have you been doing uh, presently? Uh, what? Well, presently I am doing stand-up comedy at Improv Olympic West, which is on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, yeah. uh, Friday nights. The at famous mm Improv. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Friday nights at midnight and some other uh, this, you know um, other vicinity in the vicinity of like Santa Monica and the Malibu Inn I do some stand-up comedy there oh, wow. mm -hmm. so. and uh, what are your short-term goals well right now I'm working on a couple of projects I'm actually trying to network with some of my um, acquaintances uh, from Curb Your Enthusiasm the show that I I had met Jeff Garland at Improv Olympic. He's one of the executive producers, and okay. Larry David. And I'm oh, hoping. Larry David, wasn't he the co uh, the co uh, creator of uh, Seinfeld? Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. So yeah, you we're know, talk about that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm in, I'm uh, working on trying to at least have a, you know, a guest appearance on the show for next season. And, and which show is that? Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, right now I think we have some uh, some footage of you. 
that uh, we can show on the uh, on on the screen. Mm -hmm. And this is some things that you've done. Yes. Some, uh, some acting that you've done. Is that uh, is that ready? For the Not, this is actual etiquette. It's okay to take your knife and and put on lip gloss. Right. Oh, I got you all right. This part, I think I got down solid. But what I don't have, you know, what I want to know is, if you're so fucking real, Lydia, then what the hell are you doing here? I mean, if you're so much better than me, then why bother at all? You could just wait it out, and maybe I'll drift away like a little piece of paper, like nothing, right? Because that's what I am to you. Nothing, right? So tell me. Why are you still here trying to take me apart? Oh, he's probably downstairs. We'll look for Teletubby in the morning, okay? Go ahead and lie down and try to get back to sleep. Okay, well, Lauren, uh, you're a hidden talent there. <laughs> you're a hidden talent there. That, that, that first one was what, the fifth wheel? The f and uh, what was, what, why don't you briefly say which ones they were? The first one was from a show called Rendezvous that actually aired for only a couple of seasons. Okay. But it did very well, and it um, included um, pretty good, you know, cast. Well, what was the other? The, others? the other ones were some independent films I did. One was actually a play from Spike Teal's Therese Rebecca. And the other third one was uh, L.A. Film School independent film project that I did. Okay. Well, you're, mm -hmm. you're a hidden talent there. Now, I understand that uh, also you've uh, been uh, linked uh, romantically to uh, some people who are somewhat known. I mean, uh, we have here. I understand you, you, you dated uh, this guy. If I Oh, yeah, Carrot Top. His name is actually Scott. <laughs> oh, that's that's no, we just went on one date, but he was so much fun. We had a great time. We actually worked on a show is together. Funny? Is he funny? Oh, yeah, we worked on a show together uh, in the late I 90s. I wondered. I wondered if it was funny. And it was me, him, and Wolfgang Puck. Oh. And uh, Wolfgang Puck had borrowed my hat. We were in the sun in the Malibu Beach House. And when he gave it back to me, the hat had been sweaty. And, he, and Carrot Talk says, Wolfgang Puck, Wolfgang Schmuck. It was just really <laughs> It was cute, but we decided to go on a date just like a couple of years ago, and we were just friends. I mean, he he's a really like very physically fit person, well, and he's he looks, he's uh, glamorous. Doesn't he's look just, like there's much fat. Much, he's glamorous. Much fat he's, on him. Yeah, he wears makeup, and he, it's just his whole you know <laughs> persona. He's an yeah. interesting guy. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a picture on, uh, on the screen of of uh, somebody else uh, who you were with, and uh, from the Seinfeld wow. show, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually had a more um, intimate relationship. Would you please save the ladybug? How bad do you want him saved? This is a creature of God and he's drowning. You kiss me and I'll save him. Kiss you and you'll save him? That's all it's gonna take. Kiss or he drowns. Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this ladybug because I just saved him. Just to show what kind of a nice guy I am. <laughs> what show was that? That was Rendezvous. That oh, was my okay. show. That was the Rendezvous. Yeah. The other one was the fifth. Yeah. That one, they were given a residual of checks okay. on, on that because it was in one of the top 100, and they kept right. uh, showing it over and over. It was the guy yeah. that did that scene with me actually ended up landing a commercial oh. for, for I think it was. Uh, a lawnmower uh, You never commercial. know what's going to happen yeah. when you get publicity. You know? Yeah, but that was fun. That was a good show. Well, you had this, you had, you uh, dated for a while uh, uh, Michael Richards from the Seinfeld show, right? Yeah, yeah, oh. for a little bit. Uh, got to know him very well. We had a um, romantic relationship and he's oh, wow. <laughs> that's actually a picture of him um, you know doing a play in London, like which he did a year ago. 
Frankie, he was Dracula. playing Jonathan Brewster there in Arsenic and a Lace. Anyway, oh. yeah. He, he seems like a nice guy. He's probably just like the character on Seinfeld, no, right? No, 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 no. He's actually super intelligent, uh, really? but he's a little bit, um, he's not zany or wacky in any way. It's so more of so a... So he's totally different, you're saying? Yeah, he, oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's very uh, introspective and um, very... Um, you know, emotionally contained a little more. He, he's not like the character at all. Well, I guess you must have been going with him after Seinfeld was, was over. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A few years Otherwise after. Otherwise, you might have been on Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lauren, uh, you have quite, uh, quite a career there, I think, in front of you. Uh, from what we've seen, you're, you're, you're quite... Uh, Attractive, and uh, you're a good actress, and uh, you seems you have a knack for for meeting people in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look forward to you one day being in the spotlight. Thank you, Marv. Thank I, you very much. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs>